The next UFC pay-per-view is coming up soon in the UK and we're doing a prediction video of what we think the event could be and the perfect event. They could potentially put on the best pay-per-view of the year using UK talent and this is all based on who's available right now. So straight into the first fight, we've got Levi Batchelor versus Raul Rosa Jr. Levi Batchelor is young, coming out of Wales from Jack Shaw MMA. A fucking legit guy. I think we give him Raul Rosa Jr. He'll fraud check the motherfucker. 22 and 19, both young guys. I think it's a great opener for the early prelims. It would be an absolute banger at bantamweight. Next, we've got Oban Elliott versus Sam Patterson. Battle of the Brits, we've got Wales versus uh, England. I like this matchup, I like both guys, didn't want to put them together, but when you look at the rankings, this fight makes sense. So we're going to put Sam Patterson against Oban Elliott. The similar, similar age, 26 and 27. Uh, Walter Waits, I think this, this is a banger of a fight, I, I absolutely do. Uh, Oban and Sam Patterson both coming off wins. It's a great matchup for the early prelims. Mitt Parkin coming off his win against Mohamed Usman. Stick him against Gazeev. Gazeev doesn't even deserve to be in the UFC. Let Mitt Parkin throw check the motherfucker. Um, he gassed too easy in that last fight against Rosenstruck. Uh, 28 and 34. Both similar at 6-4. Uh, yeah, give, give Mitt Parkin Gazeev and I, I think he ends him. Next up, we have Molly McCann versus the Warrior Princess, Cheyan. Yep, yeah, I like this matchup. It's the only women's fight I'm putting on the card. I won't put you through any more fucking Al. So it's just the one and that's it. And we've got Molly McCann, who's fighting out of Liverpool. Uh, 33 years old, 28 years old, uh, Cheyenne, the Warrior Princess. All very similar. It's a strawweight fight. I think it's a good matchup. Um, I think we'll get an highlight finish for Molly McCann. Good matchup all round. In the next fight, I've got Christian Leroy Duncan versus Mark andre Barraloo. Barraloo looked shit in his last fight against Chris Curtis at the Canadian card. So send in the Duncan. He's a finisher. He's got back-to-back -back finishes. He's only 28 years old. It's a great fight for the prelims. It'll get the fans on seats, uh, get the crowd pumping. Yeah, I like, I like this matchup. It's a great matchup. Very winnable for Christian Leroy Duncan. And uh, then we move on to the next one, which is... Uh, Nathaniel Wood versus Alex Caceres. Now, they've just fought in the grappling at Polaris. Uh, Nathaniel Wood beat uh, Caceres in the grappling. So I think there's a bit of a story there. You'd like that one back, Caceres Wood. It'd be an exciting matchup. Both both, both have got pace. 13-35, uh, very, very uh, no, not not too much in the tail of the tape. But yeah, I like, I like Nathaniel Wood in this one. Exciting fight. Uh, so make that fight happen. Another good fight for the prelims. Then we've got Cub Swanson versus Jack Shaw. I've got a lot of fighters from Jack Shaw MMA. Uh, so yeah, why not put Jack Shaw on the card? Uh, I think Cub, Swan Cub Swanson's a banger. I think potentially Jack, Jack Shaw could get a finish. I know he's a decisioner, uh, but Cub Swanson's 40 years old. He, he likes to take risks with the striking. He's not a guy who sits back and or even grapples too much so i think it's an exciting fight for jack uh so yeah good good prelim then we've got Leroy murphy versus fog nasty bryce mitchell tin up man uh yeah stick him on the fucking uh ufc manchester card i'd like seeing Le Leroy fucking knock him out so uh always forget that fog nasty is quite young still he's only 29 years old but i do think Leroy murphy uh knocks him out Another devastating knockout loss for Bryce Mitchell. But it's a good matchup. It'll get Leroy Murphy up the ranks. In the next fight, we've got Arnold Allen versus Yahia Rodriguez. Uh, both coming off losses, so I think it's a perfect matchup. For, it's a great fight for the division, to be fair, at featherweight. Uh, both coming off losses. Great matchup. Both exciting fighters who like to stand and bang, so it's a great matchup. 30 and 31. So we're, it's a, it's an important one for the division in my my year. Uh, in my head, I think it's uh, this is a fight that needs to happen. It'll be an absolute banger. So stick it on the main event at UFC Manchester. Then we've got Stephen Wonderboy Thompson versus Michael Venom Page. If they're looking to promote Michael Venom Page, this is the only fight to make. And give give Wonderboy a, a fucking striker for once. I mean, he's done his time with the wrestlers and the grapplers. Give him a, a striker at the tail end of his career. He's 41, but MVP is no spring chicken. He's 36. Uh, similar every, everywhere else. 
Reach goes to MVP. Uh, he's got a four inch reach advantage. In the next one on the main card, we've got BSD versus Paddy Pimblet. I like this matchup. Both have got weak chins. Both are a bit erratic. Both can get clipped. So it's a good matchup. Exciting, exciting fight for the main card. Um, someone's getting fraud checked as well. Uh, Paddy Pimblet's actually 29 years old. That's an error there. 29-28, uh, very similar in age. I feel like... Uh, BSD has just lost. He's down in the rankings. He's at the bottom of the rankings. Paddy's coming up, so it's a good matchup. In the next fight on the main event, it is Colby Covington versus Ian Gary. It's the fight that needs to happen. They're both going back and forward on social media. He's talked about his wife. He needs to, he needs to, this fight needs to happen. It needs to happen. We need to put an end uh, to the shit talk. And the guys need to fight. It'll be an absolute fucking piss of a press conference as well. 26 and 36. We're looking to put a stop to Ian Gary's run then. Send in Jack Della Maddalena or Sean Brady. I think both of these guys beat Ian Gary and put an end to his run at welterweight. In the co-main event, we've got Leon Edwards putting his belt on the line against Shavkat Rakamonov. And you're probably thinking, no Balal. Well, I think this is the real contender. Let's just bypass Balal completely. There's no need for him to have a title shot at this point. I know he's on a win streak, but... The real contender is Shavkat, so let's get him straight in there against Leon Edwards on one of the biggest pay-per-view cards of the year. And let's be honest, Balal's not in the UFC's good, good books at the moment. He passed up the opportunity of a title fight at UFC 300. So he's not going to be in the good books with the UFC and Dana White at the moment. So let's just bypass him, send Balal to Balator. In the main event of the night, we've got Tom Aspinall defending his interim heavyweight championship against Cyril Gorn. England versus France, it makes sense. I like that matchup. And I know we've talked about Cyril Gorn and his ducking fighters in the top rankings, but I think this is the fight to be made. And I know where Tom Aspinall wants the rematch with Curtis Blades, but I do think this is the, the fight that makes sense for UFC Manchester, London, or wherever they are all this at. Uh, so yeah, let's boot this fight. Alternatively, we can go down the rematch with Curtis Blades and uh, get them rematch. But yeah, I prefer, personally, I prefer the Soul Gone fight. I think it makes more sense. Drop a comment on the video. Let me know your thoughts on these matchups. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.